guys today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, generators uh, there's a uh, lot of information out there some of it's correct some of it's not uh, I'm a 30 year RVer I've been in the RV industry for 15 years and in that time I've also been a factory rep so let me explain how this works start your generator by holding down on the stop side of the button most coaches will have a light that will come on after a few seconds that is letting you know that it is primed and ready to start then you hold down on it and I would hold down on the button uh, to like the the count of five or six if it doesn't start go ahead and let off of it you don't want to burn your starter up Just let it wait for a second hold down on the button again for a second and then try and start again and usually it'll fire in that second go around especially if it's been sitting for a while and it has not been started now if your generator won't start let's say your battery is weak for whatever reason now understand that the generator is actually started from the coach battery not the chassis battery so it's always a good idea to make sure that your power switch disconnect is turned on you want to come over and start the main engine because that way you have the alternator helping charge the batteries and as long as that disconnect is turned on the alternator will also charge those batteries so that'll give a little more boost now you can come up here and try it if it still will not turn over you don't hear it cranking then hopefully you have a travel partner because next what you're going to do is with the main engine running and the power switch on for the coach you're going to find your auxiliary start button hopefully and most motorhomes have this switch there are a few that do not but most have an auxiliary start switch or an emergency start switch and you're going to have your partner hold that button in while the main engines running while this is turned on then you can come over here and hopefully the extra juice going through that from the chassis battery to the coach batteries will allow you to get this started now once the generator started make sure that your partner does not let off of that emergency start button that they continue to hold that in because the generator is not going to actually provide power to the batteries until it warms up and you'll actually hear a after a couple minutes you'll hear a beep that then the air conditioner will come on and all of that and that lets you know now that power is flowing through the system and then at that time your partner should be able to let off of that button and everything stay running and the generator will continue to charge the coach batteries back up to where you can actually use the coach the generator by the way will also charge those batteries a lot faster than being plugged into shore power okay so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an understanding of how the generator and battery system works and uh, can have some pleasant camping now one other thing I want to show you on the generators is should your generator be running and you seem to not be getting 110 volt or power out of your generator uh, it's been running for several minutes your AC still won't come on uh, and all that but it is running what I want you to do is come out to your generator and with these two levers here and other others that do not have these lev you just pull there'll be a little rubber grommet with a post at the bottom and it just kind of pulls out from the bottom just a little 
and then you can lift up slightly and take it off. But uh, what I want you to do is take this cover off. It's very easy to do. It's lightweight plastic. Now, you're going to find another start switch out here. And something else you're going to find is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you'll see circuit breaker. Now, do you see down in here this black lever? Well, on a, hang on a second here. Right there it is. Okay, that black switch is your circuit breaker for the generator. You may find that tripped. So just flip it in the opposite direction from what it is, and then wait a few seconds and go inside and see if you have power. Usually that is the problem if the generator runs and you don't have uh, power inside. It is that circuit breaker switch. Very quick and easy remedy to fix. Um, sometimes your air conditioner can cycle at the wrong time, cause too much load and pop that breaker. But uh, it's, you just reset it and you're good to go. Another question I get asked all the time is, is it okay to run your generator while going down the road? Answer to that is absolutely it is. Uh, in these uh, longer coaches that are in the 30 foot and longer range, uh, to be comfortable in August going down the interstate, especially if you have company that is in the back, uh, yes, you're going to need to run your generator to have the roof air to keep the whole coach cool. So, yes, you can. And that generator on the, uh, you know, the 4,000 watt, 5,500 watt generators, they're only going to burn about a half a gallon an hour uh, running the AC. So it, it's it's very economical, uh, especially to keep the whole coach comfortable and cool. Hope that's been some help to you. If you have any questions, my phone number is at the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date on all the latest videos that we release. Also, check out our blog website, wolfrvblog.com. There you'll find all kinds of downloadable checklists and worksheets. You'll find all kinds of videos on troubleshooting, how-to videos, coach reviews, campground reviews, trips, you name it. It's a lot of information, a lot of fun. Go check it out.